Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. Till now we have created the Azure Machine Learning Workspace, Compute Instance and the Compute Cluster. Now in this video we will create a new storage account and we will upload the data in that storage account. So let us go to the Azure Machine Learning Studio and create the same. So here I am on the Azure portal. Search here, Storage Accounts. This is the default storage account created while creating the workspace. We have to create the new one. Create. To create a new storage account, we have to specify all these details. First, we will specify the details under basics. Subscription, pay as you go. Then the resource group. I'll select this one, Azure MLRG. This is the same resource group in which we have created the workspace. Then the instance details. First we have to specify the storage account name. The name must be unique across all existing storage account names in Azure. And it must be 3 to 24 characters long and can contain only lowercase letters and the numbers. Let us specify the name. We have to create the blob storage. I'll give the same name, blob storage account. This is not available. So I'll specify a random number. Great. So this is available. Then the region, we will go with this option, East US. Then the performance. Here we have two options, standard and premium. Standard is recommended for most scenarios. So we will go with the standard, then the redundancy, here we have total 4 options, local redundant storage, geo redundant storage, zone redundant storage and geo zone redundant storage. We will go with the geo redundant storage. This is the intermediate option with failure capabilities in a secondary region and recommended for backup scenarios. So here we specified all the details under the basics tab. Then go to advanced. First we have to specify the security. Required secure transfer for REST API operations. Yes. Allow enabling anonymous access on individual containers. No. Enable storage account key access. Yes. Default Microsoft intra authentication in Azure portal. No. Minimum TLS version 1.2. You can get the more information from here about the TLS version. Then the permitted scope for the copy operations from any storage account. So this is all about the security. Then the hierarchical namespace. We don't have to enable this option. We have to enable this option when we have to create the generation to storage account. Leave as it is. Then the access protocols. Leave it default. Blob storage. Allow cross tenant replication. No. Access tier. We will go with the default option that is hot. This is optimized for frequently accessed data and everyday usage scenarios. Then Azure files, we cannot select this option, enable large file shares. So this is all about the advanced tab. Here we specified the options for the security, hierarchical namespace, access protocols, blob storage, and you can say Azure files. Networking, here first we have to specify the network connectivity, network access, Enable public access from all networks. Network routing. The routing preference. Microsoft network routing. So this is all about the networking. Then the data protection. First we have to specify the details about the recovery. Enable point in time restore for containers. No. Enable soft delete for blobs. Yes. Days to retain the deleted blobs. Default is 7 days. Enable soft delete for containers. Default option is 7 days. Enable soft delete for file shares. 
seven days you can change the number of days here and to understand more you can click on learn more then the tracking and access protocol we will keep it as default so this is all about the data protection then the encryption encryption type microsoft managed keys enable support for customer managed keys blobs and files only enable infrastructure encryption no so this is all about the encryption so we specified all the details under the basics advanced networking data protection and encryption we are not going to specify the tags now click on review running the final validation here you can see the details that we have specified validation succeeded hit on create initializing the deployment now submitting the deployment and the deployment is in progress now it will take 2 to 5 minutes to create the storage account so i'll fast forward the process the storage account is created successfully go to resource deployment succeeded this is for the storage account so this is the storage account that we have created under the overview you will get all the details like resource group location primary and secondary location primary location is east us and secondary is west us then the subscription subscription id and so on now scroll down click on containers here we will create new container container 1 this is the name of the container that we are creating now hit on create the container is created successfully now we will upload the data inside that container click on upload browse for files as of now we will upload this file automobile price data select and open then click on advanced upload to folder here i'll create a folder as data and upload successfully uploaded the blob so we have successfully uploaded this file automobile price data click on the file then go to edit and preview so this is the data under this file so first we have created the storage account this one blob storage account 167 after that we have created a container container 1 and inside that container we have created this folder data and inside the data folder we have uploaded this file automobile price data this is the csv file so this video about creating the new storage account and uploading the data ends here and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you